My name's Chris Randolph. I'm the integration specialist with Tecla PowerFab. I've had several people, both PowerFab users and uh, some equipment manufacturers, ask me about integrating a robot welder or an assembly robot with Tecla PowerFab. And I think it's a great idea. So in this presentation, we'll look at what it would take to implement this integration with PowerFab. We'll begin with an introduction to stations and routes in PowerFab and then a demonstration of how a station like an assembly robot can communicate with PowerFab and with our API. So I'll start with a brief introduction to stations and routes in PowerFab. For this demo, we're concerned with two stations, CUT, which will represent what could be multiple stations in the real world, like a saw, a plasma table, or an angle line, for instance, and assembly weld, which represents the assembly or welding robot. PowerFab allows the addition of as many stations as you'd like that can be arranged and sized into a representation of the shop floor. Routes can be created to include only the stations required for certain materials or assemblies, for instance, painted and unpainted in this example, where of course, unpainted would omit the last station. For this demo, we'll use two routes. This route is an assembly route that is applied to the main materials in this project. It starts with the cut station, then moves to the assembly station, then QC, and finally paint. The other route is a part route. I have all the submaterials assigned to this route, which includes only the cut station. Then I've set these parts to join with the assembly for the assembly station. So after these parts are cut, they will be tracked as part of the assembly. So now all parts come together at the assembly weld station. And when completed at that station, they continue to the next station as a single assembly. This type of integration with Tecla PowerFab is pretty simple. As items progress through production routes, the assembly station software makes requests from Tecla PowerFab for what items are available to be processed by that station. Once assembly is done, another message will be sent to PowerFab that the station has completed the selected item and that assembly can progress to the next station. Next, we'll look at an example program that demonstrates the workflow. This demo program can be downloaded from developer.tecla.com. First, we need to establish a connection with Tecla PowerFab. I just have the login credentials hard-coded for, for this demonstration. Next, we'll use the API request, get production control jobs, to get a list of jobs from PowerFab. Then we'll use get stations to populate a list of stations. In this example, the user selects the assembly station from the drop-down list. And since station names are customized by the user, you'll want to have an option in your software for the user to add the appropriate station. Once we know the proper station, we can get a list of items ready for the assembly station. From what I know of most welding and assembly robots, you're getting an XML from Tecla Structures or maybe another detailing software that defines all the parts of the assembly and how they're attached. So with this demo, I'm only displaying the assembly and the quantity rather than all of the parts. Now we can enter a main mark. Uh, the time to complete and a quantity. Let's do two. 
And now that and some other details can be sent back to PowerFab with the shop floor save command. This completes the station and the assembly is now ready for the next station in the assigned route. Now we see that I updated one B2. Uh, I completed two out of the quantity of three. If I click get material remaining again, I see there's now one, one B2 left to be processed. This example program is set up in Visual Studio. and is available at developer.tecla.com. Select the Tecla PowerFab Open API button and then the Documentation tab at the top. And this example will be available for download under Code Examples. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and I hope you have success developing a new integration with Tecla PowerFab.